friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video before you leave. I make new videos every week on all things beauty. Today we're just doing a get ready with me. I showed you how to do this makeup look, this hair with my Dyson Airwrap, just something natural, clean, and simple. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So the fragrance I'll be wearing today is a Dossier Floral Berries. This is a dupe for the Joe Malone, the Peony and Blush Suede, which is one of my favorite scents. I'm wearing this today. So by the way, this scent I actually wore on my wedding day. Bye. Like brings back so many memories. My husband is gone right now. He's in Miami for work, so... You know, it just makes me feel like, come back. He's coming home tonight, so it's fine. But like, has a special place in my heart. If you guys didn't know, I bring you my fragrance of the month every month. This is the one I chose to bring you because it's life-changing. Like, how? This is $29. Joe Malone, of course, is over $100, almost $200 for fragrances. This smells exactly like the same thing, and it's made in France. All clean ingredients, which I love because I try to use clean beauty products every single time I can. If you've never heard about Dossier, they make all the high-end fragrance dupes for $29, and the more you buy, the more you save. You can go to their website, and they're always having coupon codes. I'll leave my coupon code down below. I don't get paid from it, but it does give you 10% off, but they have better coupon codes on their website. It comes in this cute box, and it has a fragrance card telling you all the notes. I own like probably 30 of these, and I cannot stop wearing them. It's amazing to layer them and mix scents and make something so unique and personal to you. I find the Dossier always smells spot on like the real ones and it lasts longer for me because of the oil concentration inside. It does tell you also on the card the concentration if you're curious. This one's 18% so it always lasts on me. This is my favorite fresh out of the shower scent. I love wearing this to bed because it's super clean and light and like not overpowering. You feel kind of like calm and relaxed but still cute. I don't know, am I the only one that puts on perfume before I go to bed, like fresh out of the shower? Just makes me feel like that girl, like luxurious, you know? I love that they have free returns in case you're not satisfied with what you purchase. I'm sure you guys are gonna love it because I've been obsessed for literally like two years now. But if you don't love it, they have free returns all the time. And they're always adding new scents. Like this Joe Malone is one of their newest ones. They have Louis Vuitton dupes, Tom Ford dupes. So if you're trying to get the Tom Ford perfumes, but it's so expensive, try this. It's better. It smells the exact same. I'm obsessed. Make sure you guys leave me a comment down below if you do try it. Because so many of you have told me how much you love it and how you're constantly buying from Dossier now. Thank you to Dossier for partnering with me so I can always bring you guys my perfume of the month. Next month is going to be life-changing in my spring favorites. So make sure you look out for that. So let's hop right into the makeup segment and then you'll see how I do my hair. And that will be my get ready with me. We're a mess right now. So like, let's just get cute. Let's get glam. Let's talk. Let's catch up. So number one, if you ever have like big red areas or blemishes to cover before you go in with your foundation, even if it's going to be full coverage, get your full coverage concealer. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape and you'll just dot it right on where you need the coverage. We're gonna do the double wear from Estee Lauder. It's gonna give us full, full coverage. And I'm using the shade 3N2 Wheat. Guys, I showed you this brush in my, I believe it was my like holiday gift set video. Elf sent me all their gift sets, um, the holiday ones before they came out. This, I believe they sell this year round as well, so I'm gonna link it for you. This is the best foundation brush. I don't know what happened, I don't know, but I literally have to use this every single time. Foundation, you can do all your creams with it has a smaller end if you want to do like nose contour. Okay, so we're doing 3NW Wheat with this amazing brush. Let's get this on so that I'm not so washed out with this gray background. So I don't blend the concealer underneath when I need that for coverage. You're just gonna put this on top. So this is one layer of the double wear. I'm gonna just try to like stipple a little more where I need the coverage, mostly on the jawline and then here on the forehead. The problem is if you were to put all your foundation on and then just conceal where needed after it's gonna be more noticeable and that's why we conceal first also if you can see texture that's only because your foundation is wet so once we set everything with powder it should be a lot more blended and flawless now we're gonna go in with our Charlotte Tilbury color corrector for under the eyes you can use a shade one or two depending on your skin tone this is just a peach corrector I'm super dark under the eyes and when my face is not tan or self tan it's even more noticeable so that immediately brightens it up. I wouldn't say leave this by itself because it is so peach and it would be noticeable, but you'll just let that set for a minute. And then we're gonna go in with our Tarte Shape Tape again in Light Medium Honey. And this one, after you lay it down, you will wanna leave it. It's very heavy, but in a great way. And if you blend it out too quickly, you'll lose the coverage. 
It's a lot easier when you open a new one. That one had like none left. So we're gonna let this sit and kind of just dry a little bit. Then we're gonna use our Fenty Beauty sponge. This is the greatest sponge, I always tell you, especially for my under eyes. I like using the back and the bottom to kind of do like creams on the face. When you use this flat side to blend out your concealer, you'll never see hard lines ever and you barely have to blend it. It doesn't grab the coverage, it's unreal. I'm gonna start on like the center of the face so that this can have more time to dry. But you see, I barely tap and it's blended in like so flawless. If you don't wanna wait for it to dry, you can also take your fan that you use with your setting spray and just do the fan all on the concealer so that it dries. What I'm gonna do last, taking the Too Faced Concealer in Almond, this has great coverage too. If you don't need as much coverage as Shape Tape or you don't want it as dry as Shape Tape, this one is amazing. I always use it on its own as well. But I'm gonna take the shade Almond and we're just literally gonna put it right here just to brighten that up even more. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. So this is the cute fan. I'll link it it's from Amazon, super inexpensive. I use it for the setting spray. So you'll just use it to dry your concealer and then you can blend the edges and get good coverage. Now, lastly for creams, we're gonna do a blush and a contour. For contour, of course, my Charlotte Tilbury wand. This is in the shade medium deep. They also have a lighter one as well. Then using the bottom of my sponge. I just like doing the little dot method. I saw this on TikTok and I love it because it just blends so good and it looks a lot more flawless from the side. And I like to kind of over blend with the contour. I don't like it to be obvious. Whatever's left, I just drag it up. I like contouring my nose better with powder. So I just do the tip and then drag it up like this. And then once I have the majority of this blended, oh, I forgot my little double chin. <laughs> Tragic using the bottom still and make sure with your chin you'll drag that down have it like peaking So when someone looks at you visually, it's kind of shorter But then drag it down the neck instead of giving you like tea and drama and updates about my life <laughs> I'm giving you guys tips and tricks on your makeup so that if you're having certain problems like you need more coverage when you break out or You need your contour to look more natural. You'll know then whatever's left on this flat surface from the concealer, I'll do that here where the concealer meets the contour so you can keep that brightness. And then also just tap it underneath the contour like this. So you're kind of like cleaning up that line. So lastly for creams, I found this shade on TikTok. Um, this is the Nude Sticks blush. I love Nude Sticks. This is Cherry Blossom Babe. There's a brush on one side, which I won't be using. The whole stick like came out. Oh no. I don't know if it's broken or what happened. It's literally been 30 degrees in LA at night, so there's no way that it melted in shipping, but that sucks. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna just put my blush high. This is an amazing light pink, kind of like that Dior pink everyone's wearing. For me, that Dior pink wasn't dark enough, like it didn't really show up. I also have the Pinkasm, I think it's called, from Charlotte Tilbury that I can also do. That's gonna be like the NARS color where it's gonna add a little gold. But this one, I'm just using the back of the sponge, not the bottom, but the back. This color is amazing how it just gives you good coverage and stays. Mm, what's going on? That just, this is a no for me. Look at this. It just grabbed everything and you can like see my patchiness. Let's try with the foundation brush. This is gonna be a no from me. Okay, well, it's better with the brush, but it disappears, so that's so awful. I was looking forward to that for like months. Like I had been watching this person's TikTok. TikTok? Uh, TikTok with that color. Let's try the Charlotte one. Um, I think I tried it once, but I was on the fence about it. Sometimes, guys, if you have textured or oily skin, creams just don't work for you. You'll have to just use powder contour and powder blush if it's not working for your skin. I don't know if I should try like blending with my fingers or brush. Typically, the sponge is good. Let's try a clean beauty blender. That's cute. This is a color I think, who sold it out? Madison Beer or somebody did a tutorial and sold it out. This one's actually very cute and very natural. Highly suggest this one. Again, it'll be linked. It's the Charlotte Tilbury one. I actually love this because this would be cute with just a tinted moisturizer. I still feel like I look patchy over here thanks to that other one, but it's okay, we'll make it work and you know, hashtag filters, so. So now I'm a little nervous for this next one because it was from the same person's TikTok that uses this. I think just because they have flawless skin, maybe that's why, or maybe because I had a lot of 
product on for the full coverage. This is actually the Givenchy Prisme Libra in Violet Rose, number three rose, I'll link it. I'm gonna just dab this, and this is that pink tone I love for my under eyes. So if you have blue or green eyes, a pink tone under eye setting powder is gonna make them really pop and it's gonna be that nice bright effect. And I'm kinda just gonna like bake with this. This is why I literally hate when I see something on TikTok or YouTube and I buy it and then like it sucks for me. You know what I mean? Because like I know what works well and I know what works for me. This just looks so dry and crepey and it gave me no brightening and no coverage. And I don't wanna keep adding coverage cause it's gonna look more dry. Let's use our tried and true Mac Studio Fix. This also does have a pink tone. I like stamping it with a smaller brush. So that's gonna be a no from me, but I love trying new things. If you guys have any suggestions, for anything I need to try that's actually amazing, please let me know. Like I literally bought so much stuff from TikTok and I was like really disappointed. That's why you trust professional artists and not, I don't wanna say influencers, cause I guess if I'm doing YouTube, I'm technically an influencer. But you wanna trust people that have like professional makeup backgrounds that works with all skin types and not just their own because if you just do your own makeup, I apologize, but you're not a makeup artist. Like I'm, I'm actually sorry for saying that cause I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings. But it's true, like if you can't do other people's makeup, you're not a makeup artist. Because then you suggest things to other people that don't work for everyone or work for only a specific skin type. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Let's move on so I don't talk mess about anyone. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I can guarantee you this works on every single skin type. This is amazing, never cakes up no matter how much you use just mattifies it adds like the tiniest bit of coverage i'm not loving how my makeup's coming out obviously it's okay we're gonna get through it once everything's on and like hair done it's gonna be okay we're gonna use our charlotte Tilbury bronzer this is the shade two it's an airbrush bronzer so it's essentially like the powder but a bronzer version it's amazing using my slanted smashbox brush that patchiness is definitely popping through normally like this is awful my makeup never looks like that. That's why I guess you don't try a new product when you're like doing your makeup for something important or filming or... I'm gonna add my blush very carefully. The same MAC Floor Power I always use. I just don't wanna lift this anymore. This is what we'll do. We'll make our lights brighter. Bam, can't tell. Perfect. Spray, we're gonna do the Milk Hydro. I love this one, it's waterproof. You can cry your eyes out, you can be in a tornado, you can jump in the pool. Your makeup is safe. Guaranteed. Trust me. The first time I figured this out, I had bought a travel size. I told you guys this, and you know, emotionally uh, unstable. So, cried my whole face off. The only thing that came off was my strip lash. The makeup was flawless. So, use it. The cheek is giving sun damage, but it's not. It's just blotched. It's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Make sure you guys get that e.l.f. brush. Like, e.l.f. is so affordable and amazing. I'm obsessed with that brush. If you get anything from today's video, get the brush. Also, a little trick. If you see texture here or your blush or whatever is not kind of like cohesive and blending here, I want you to just take your powder brush, nothing on it but whatever was left, and just tap. It's going to look a lot more flawless and airbrushed and everything's going to be blended. First of all, why are my shoulders so uneven? Is it the shirt? I think it's the shirt. Because I've been going to my chiropractor, my holistic doctor, and I thought that my shoulders were like a lot more even. Is it the camera? Is it me? Am I the drama? What's happening? Oh, it's my shoulders. Yeah, it's my shoulders. Okay, cute. Yeah, why was my camera so low? Guys, I'm sorry. I have not filmed in a while. Um, life has been insane. I would love to catch up and tell you everything because life has actually been insane in a very good way, but like the most unreal things haven't happened here for my husband and I. This is my first time filming, so I apologize if like it's not going perfect, but you're just hanging out, getting ready with me. You can literally put this on while you get ready. Anastasia Brow Definer I always use in soft brown. I need to get my brows done, and I am planning on doing a video on brow lamination. Why didn't anyone tell me I had brush hairs under my eyes? Like I'm not loving this makeup today. This is awful. We're gonna get over it though, it's okay. I actually really hate the way my makeup looks. I'm tempted to take it off. I can't wait to do my hair because why is it just sitting like this? By the way, my hair is darker. We're not gonna go into that story right now. <laughs> For eyes, we're using the Patrick Ta Talit. Cool. We're using the Patrick Ta Palette. 
Um, if you don't have this by now, like I've said this a million times in my videos, but like truly, if you don't have this palette, please. Like I'm gonna use this palette every single time I do my makeup and every single video until I find something better. If you have something better, let me know. I would love to try it, but no. This is the best palette for every skin tone, every skin type, you need it. If you do your makeup dramatic, if you do your makeup natural, you need it. You don't even have to do much to make a big impact with this look. I'm just using the medium brown. We're gonna just do like a cute natural, natural glam little eye, right? We're just gonna do browns, a thin line, and a little lash. Just basic, like basic stuff today. By the way, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes for the eyes, best brushes, best eye brushes for sure. The black one that's like this, the blending one, it's unreal. With this lighter shade, I like to go up a little higher in this area to connect it kind of like to this natural contour of the nose. By the way, do you guys still watch makeup tutorials? Or like, do you only watch Get Ready With Me's? Like, what are you into these days? I feel like no one watches makeup videos anymore. That's kind of why I'm trying to like figure out what to do with my content. Like, obviously I would still do all things beauty, but like, should it just be more talking or more specific? and not makeup tutorials. If you don't wanna watch it, like I don't wanna make it, you know? It's a little trick. The brush I use to stamp my under eyes, just take it and go like this to make sure that your eye is still lifted and it kinda of like cleans up that edge. We're gonna use our Lancome Art Liner. This is just a liquid liner. I love this one. The only thing I don't love about it is it tends to kinda of like um, drag your shadows so it won't look as black if that makes any sense. So just keep shaking it and like dipping it every once in a while. Again, this should just be thin to blend your eyelashes. Okay, I'm gonna pop these on off camera. I'll link them. There are Dell 858 3D Foam Ink with some black duo. Okay, that only took 10 minutes. A literal 10 minutes. So MAC Extended Play Per Use on the bottom. Can you believe I got these lashes at Target? They look really good. I just put mascara in the root of them so they blend with my own lashes. Can't wait to do this hair because like, what is this? So I'm gonna try this new liner. I know new things have not been going great today, but this is a Charlotte Tilbury, so I trust it. It's the Foxy Brown. And then, of course, my little Fenty combo. This is Uncuff. Love the packaging, love the color, love everything about this. I love that applicators has. It's the most unique shape because I have such a pronounced Cupidsville and it allows me to accentuate it perfectly. So I just wait for this color to dry and then we add unbutton to the center. Do I like myself with strip lashes better than lash extensions? I might. Anyways, this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Jewel. I don't know why my lips are so dry, so sorry about that. This might be the best combo ever. So I'm gonna get this hair together. We're gonna do the Dyson Air Wrap. I'm gonna just speed through this so I can put on my music so it can go a little fast for me. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below or if you need a detailed Dyson toot. I'm obsessed with mine, obsessed. That's so much better. Took me less than 30. Wow, I have so much dry shampoo. <laughs> Here's how the curls look. They'll of course fall from the air wrap. Took less than 30 minutes, amazing fast. I use IGK First Class Dry Shampoo, which will be linked, all of this will be linked. Hot Toddy Dry Bar Heat Protectant. Uh, I didn't use that. And then Bumble and Bumble, this is like a flexible hold hairspray, so. All this will be linked for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Leave me a comment down below with any questions you have or any video requests for next time. I plan on filming a lot more. I'm just trying to figure out kind of like what videos you guys want to see from me because I don't feel like makeup tutorials are being watched like that anymore. So please let me know. I miss doing my vlogs or like just hauls and stuff. And I'll have a favorites video coming for spring for you guys. So look out for that as well. Please make sure that you are subscribed and like the video before you leave. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.